So happy about it. As soon as I leave here today, I'm gonna go get uh, what I need to prepare for the game like, tomorrow. Coming up. USA, baby, number one. Olympic fever hits the mall. Your 2010 women's hockey team. When the U.S. women's hockey team comes to visit. This team has a couple crazy stalkers. Officers deal with a hockey fan who wants more than just an autograph. Get out of here, you're gonna get sprayed! Hey, hey, hey! Having met the mall cops, some of the hockey stars do a little stalking of their own. How can you be scared with someone like this around? Look at him. What a stud. And officers deal with a man who's had more than just his early morning coffee. All ahead on Mall Cops. Be strong in your mental illness. They must protect every inch of the largest mall in America. Keeping 100,000 shoppers a day safe is no ordinary job. It's a job for the mall cops. With over 600 merchants at Mall of America, security must watch for anything out of the ordinary. Hey, doing? Do you own this kiosk, or what are you cutting? I forgot the key inside. You forgot the key? Do you have a, a mall badge or anything with you, or? Everything's inside? I just noticed a guy at one of the kiosks trying to saw off a lock, which is kind of concerning. You have to check that out. 2974 dispatch. You got it now? You're good? On one of the sides of his kiosk was a lock with numbers on it, so he was able to open that, show me that it's actually his kiosk. So he's over there right now trying to saw it off and get in so he can open up and do his normal business for the day, but everything turned out fine. He is the owner of the kiosk. And after this, he won't be forgetting his key again anytime soon. As the mall prepares to host the U.S. Olympic women's ice hockey team, the mall cops spread out to ensure their safety. Outside, Lieutenant Ashley Foster checks for vehicles that may pose a threat. We're just doing a security procedure. We have a vehicle we don't know why it's not parked in the area it's supposed to be in. So we're trying to block off as much area as we can. With the U.S. women's hockey team on site, the large vehicle left in a well-marked no-parking zone is immediately considered a potential bomb threat. Can we redirect people all this? We're throwing it out of here, though. Okay. The car owner shows up just in time to be too late. Is that your car that well, was parked right here? Yeah. Your car was actually towed, sir. That's not a parking spot right there. Are you a supervisor tonight? Yeah. The mall enforces fire codes that must be followed by all stores and restaurants. I just got to talk to you about your fire code violation here. They have all this needs to get thrown away. Yeah. Uh, and your box is there. You know, a little bit of cardboard here and there in the border, it's just inevitable. When they get busy, they don't have time to take it out. But when we see violations like that, there's no excuse for it. And sir, the reason why we try and keep these areas clear, just so you know, is because if there's ever an emergency, okay. we're going to be putting hundreds of people back here. Oh, okay. Or if there's a fire, we need yeah, to so get out of here. They're going to uh -huh. be tripping all over this stuff, okay? So yeah. do me a favor, clean it up. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Fire Marshal for the city of Bloomington takes his job very seriously. If he would have saw what we saw today, he would have been issuing fines to those tenants. Thanks a lot, gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. All right, so welcome. Let's talk about what's going on today. The purpose of roll call is, you know, as a conductor up there in front of the orchestra, get them all playing the same sheet of music, let them know what's going on that day, and uh, just make sure that they know what's expected of them that day. We've got the U.S. women's hockey team to announce who made the team for the Winter Olympics. You know, these are folks that, uh, that are future Olympians. Should be a good draw, very positive event. It's Minnesota, baby. We like hockey. So I need you to shine. I need you to do your best. I know you will. as hundreds of excited hockey fans pour in. USA, baby, number one! Anticipation and excitement builds. There's no stopping on this level! I'm fans of them, but I've been told I'm a little addictive. You want the people to come here, but you want it to be controlled, and there is a balancing act there. We don't mind crowds, we like crowds, we like people to show up at our events. Um, what we don't like is mobs. That changes our day pretty quickly. No one is more excited about the event than hockey fan Officer Brandon Crosby. Especially with an Olympic team representing the country, you know, we don't want any conflicts to arise. You're escorting them to the rotunda, correct? Yeah. 
my role is just like any other event. Just make sure everybody stays in check, follows the rules, nobody tries to run on stage, that kind of stuff. It's also awesome another way protected, I guess, if someone were to get out of hand. This team has a couple of crazy stalkers, so it's always good to, you know, have someone who has your back. Just to make it a safe environment for everybody. This is kind of a big deal for the state of hockey. Dispatch to all officers, we have a report of a suspicious male moving erratically through level two east. Use caution. Security is tipped off that a man suspected of stalking the women's hockey team has been spotted on the mall's lower level. Do you know what he looked like? He has a red jacket with uh, white shoes. 1037 male, he's acting nervous and has his arm hidden inside of his jacket. Yeah, I went out to find him and he, and he got with a false red jacket on. You know, if we have a suspicious character in the mall, a suspicious person that we're observing, we're obviously going to take it seriously. You know, in this day and age, we have to be extra vigilant in our job and our duties here. Let's move upstairs. Yeah, you never know. You could be a, a guy that's got a gun or a worse bomb. Or... That's, that's him. That's him. Yeah. that's him over in the corner over there. Thinking they may have found the suspect, undercover ram officers approach the man. Coming up, a customer's life is in danger. I feel like my body's gonna shut down, you know? And later, bizarre actions of one man turn violent. Hey, 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 hey! Sometimes the little things last the longest. Give extra, get extra. What's even bigger than Black Friday? Aaron's Joinormous Black Friday with unbelievably Joinormous deals like this 50-inch TV, 39-inch TV, and Blu-ray player. All three for just $99 a month. 50% off your first month's payment on any new lease agreement. And you're pre-approved for up to $2,500 in merchandise. Get the Joinormous gifts you really want. Black Friday, Saturday, and Cyber Monday only. You're pre-approved, so hurry in for Aaron's ginormous Black Friday deals. Meet the crown-pleasing tablets with HD wide-angle viewing for all to see. Meet the palm-sized tablet with Microsoft Office Home and Student to get it all done wherever you are. Meet the two-in-one tablet that has the fun of a tablet and the productivity of an Ultrabook with an optional keyboard dock. Meet the beautifully thin Dell Venue tablet family with Intel Inside for extraordinary battery life and lightning fast web browsing. Open house has a whole new meaning. Oh, honey. Wow. Breathtaking. It's like we're outside. Is there a wall? It's open on the top, actually. Reside in the rainforest. I love the jungle feel of oh. this. I've never seen anything like it. Inside is sweet. Live on the edge. I'm kind of concerned. It is on the cliff. Where's the house? We got to go across the bridge. And buy a home. See myself falling in love with this house. In paradise. Is that a hot tub? I'm sold. Buying Hawaii. All new series Monday at 10, only on Destination America. Undercover officers approach a man who may pose a potential threat to the nearby hockey event. You never know, you could be a, a guy that's got a gun or a force. That's him over in the corner over there. 2960 dispatch, white male wearing a red and gray jacket. Are they following him? Just as it seemed the man may disappear, the undercover officers intercept him. And an explanation for his atypical behavior quickly emerges. He's uh, hearing impaired, so we gotta find somebody to come up here and do sign language. 10 4. Luckily, Officer Amanda Palmer can help bridge the communication gap. I know a little bit of sign language. I took a lot of classes when I was in high school, and I'm really into deaf culture. Usually I'm assigned down in the dock, but this day there was a call where somebody was deaf and they needed to communicate with them. Well, I speak sign language, and so I went there to see if I can interpret between the two parties. 
you have like a gut feeling that something's not right with somebody, you gotta really go with your first instinct and uh, do something about it. With the language barrier crossed, the potential scare winds up being a false alarm. It turned out that everything was okay and he was just there shopping and the ha his hands were cold. The man's hands may be cold, but Officer Palmer's are red hot as her sign language skills save the day. Sometimes we have false alarms, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Do you need help finding anything? It's one something, it's on level one. Okay. So, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Sergeant Ashley Rowe spots a woman with pants so low, they border on indecent exposure and violate the mall's code of conduct. You need to watch your pants, okay? This is a family environment. 125 dispatch. What's that? Here's the deal. If you has her pants down again, I'm asking you to leave, okay? Okay? I understand that if you see her come out and her pants are down again, let me know and we'll ask her to leave. Kids don't need to be seeing that. It's a family environment. You can see her butt like, in her underwear. That's inappropriate and we have a dress code policy. After Sergeant Rowe's request is ignored, she calls in reinforcements. Even with her pants sagging, she can still move pretty quickly. And once outside, she's keen to show exactly how low she can go with her pants and her mouth. It doesn't only snow outside in Minnesota, but inside as well, as Officer Ashley Rowe discovers this kiosk is in the business of producing fake snow. Real fake snow. Oh. You can touch it, bring your hand. It's kind of cold. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. That's festive. That is a festive sweatshirt. Officer Johnson is doubling his patrol officer and fashion police. Festive instead of the word ugly. <laughs> The Mall of America. Across the mall. Now we'd like to get the program started. Excitement builds around the hockey team's arrival. These 21 players will represent the United States at the 21st Winter Olympic Games. I am a big hockey fan. I've been playing it since I was a little kid. I enjoy the sport. There are a couple players from just south of here, so it's kind of a local celebrity kind of deal. It's kind of nice. We're very excited to get our names announced and go out there and, you know, enjoy the moment. I get a chance now to be on the Olympic team and head into Vancouver and hopefully go for a gold medal is pretty special. It's great to be able to go into a U.S. venue and be able to see a lot of people cheering on and being knowledgeable of our sport and excited about what we're doing. We woke up this morning at 5.30, took off from our small town, and now we got here at about 7. Well worth it, so we're excited. We're seeing the Olympic team. I think it's exciting. USA Hockey! Woo. Dispatch to Officer Johnson, head towards the level one North Men's restroom. I just received a report of a man that's passed out. Uh, Emergency medical bags are strategically placed throughout the mall. And Officer Bo Johnson takes one to assist a man experiencing chest pains. So we're sending an AED up and then we're also gonna have a med bag. We'll get dispatched through our dispatch center to a medical. It'll be an unknown medical. We'll get up there. It can be a band-aid. It can be a heart attack. Officer Johnson, what happened? Yeah, heart. A little, uh, lightheaded? Yeah. I feel like my body's gonna shut down, you know? You have pain in your chest? My heart's going fast. Okay. Coming up, a mall patron refuses to leave quietly. Something's Bye. going on, you're foaming at the mall. And later, a rowdy hockey fan is looking for a fight. Hey, 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 hey! The sightings. Fear and disbelief. The town went crazy. The evidence. Is this animal licking the blood out of the chickens? The stories have been shared across America. The most bizarre creature that I had ever seen. These real first-hand accounts will leave your spine tingling. There was fear in our hearts. And your mind reeling. The truth. It's real and it's out there. Is scarier than fiction. Monsters and Mysteries in America returns with an all-new season. December 15th at 10 on Destination America. Thank you.
Jolly Rancher and Twizzlers bites are so soft, chewy, and filled with their fruity selves. They think this world isn't big enough for the both of them. But we assure you, it is Bites Little Greatness. Captain's Law, day of departure. After a short time at sea, our crew seems to be settling in. Earlier, a small mutiny broke out, but I put it to rest. The sailing got a little rough, but nothing we couldn't handle. And after a small distraction on the upper deck, the Admiral spirited me away for some quality time. All in all, another fine day at sea. Disney Cruise Line. When it comes to pleasing everyone, the difference is Disney. Bass Pro Shops opens at 5 a.m. on Black Friday for huge savings on great gifts, like Redhead Men's Five Pocket Jeans for only $9.97, Bass Pro Flannel Shirts for only $10, and save $130 on this stainless steel smokehouse with free stand. This is the computer ICU. It's what happens to your computer when it gets infected, slows down, and crashes. And if you don't do something, your computer can wind up here in the computer graveyard. But it could be saved with MyCleanPC.com. Is your computer running slow? Are you frustrated with error messages, blue screens, computer freezes, and crashes? Then go to MyCleanPC.com for your free diagnosis today. Then just activate the MyCleanPC.com software to fix it in minutes. And computer specialists are available while you're online. The best thing about MyCleanPC.com was it had a free diagnosis. My computer is 100% faster. You know immediately what the problem is, and the problem is solved right then and there. Download your free diagnosis today at MyCleanPC.com. Open house has a whole new meaning. Oh, honey. Wow. Breathtaking. It's like we're outside. Is there a wall? It's open on the top, actually. Reside in the rainforest. I love the jungle feel of oh. this. I've never seen anything like it. Oh. Inside is sweet. Live on the edge. I'm kind of concerned it is on the cliff. Where's the house? We got to go across the bridge. And buy a home. I see myself falling in love with this house. In paradise. Is that a hot tub? I'm sold. Buying Hawaii. All new series Monday at 10, only on Destination America. Officer Bo Johnson must put his medical training to work on a man stricken with chest pains. Loose your hand. You have pain in your chest? I mean, I hear you. You do? 2816 special. Our response time at the Mall of America in a worst case scenario, you can determine a life and death situation. They're on their way now, all right? It's a right up here. You need to make an actual effort into taking slow breaths and slowing it down. I think they're just pulling up right now, so. Hey, hey, hey. Officer Johnson calls upon his training and keeps the man calm until medics arrive. My job doesn't only entail going up and helping people at help towers. His heart rate got real high. I mean, it was pretty high. And I'm mandated to respond to the calls that people ask for. Now, a lot of the times, we are the first responders there, so it's up to us to decide what's going on. We're the guys on scene first. Across the mall in the food court, a man has been observed stumbling around and shoving napkins up his nose. I talked to him earlier, this guy. He was walking around, he had napkins stuck up his nose. I yeah, yeah, when like... he first came in, he had them all over his nose. His eyes were tearing up, and he was stumbling back and forth constantly. Officers confront the man about his bizarre actions. We saw you stumbling. You have no, a I'm, I'm, I'm very OK, sir. This is my beginning of my life. You got any meds or anything? Are you taking any medications or anything? No, I'm very okay, sir. What's Bye. going on? You're foaming at the mouth? Yeah. Foam or not, Bloomington police decide it's time to do a welfare check. Can you start PPD for a welfare check? He's under the influence of something. The individual in question who refused to leave appeared to be under the influence of 
a number of substances. I'm very okay, sir. Took a lot of effort, a lot of dialogue with the man to convince him that it was time to go. I just feel good about life. Yeah. You have some idea here, sir? No, I'm very okay, sir. Have you been drinking it all day? No, just a lot of yeah, any medications for you? Yes, I've been taking all day, and I'm very okay. Yeah. What is the medication for? What, what do you take the medication for? Do you understand what I'm asking? Yeah, you take, uh, it quickly becomes apparent that this man is confused and may be a threat to himself and others. You have to be strong in your mental illness. And you know if you're all right. okay. I just gotta get sleep. They're okay. I walk around. They're not. They're not. No, I'm oh man. One of the first two summers I get off. I just feel good. You know what I'm saying? Let's place your hands on your head. After a search turns up nothing, the man is escorted from the premises. Here's the deal. I appreciate you being cooperative with me. Yeah. We're going to ask you to leave the mall today. Yes, okay? Yeah. All right? Yeah. Are we good with that? Yeah. All right. Mall of America is a family atmosphere. Uh, that's one of our main goals is to keep it as such. Um, this individual was a threat to the enjoyment of everybody else. He needed to leave for everybody else to have a good time. Officer Kyle Matrogene returns to his hockey duties. And after much anticipation, it's time to introduce Team USA Hockey to a passionate crowd. It's vital that security be at the large events. And one of those, without a doubt, is the US Olympic women's hockey team. There's a lot of pride in being at something like that. I mean, these are the best that America has. And they're going forward to represent America. And if something were to happen to them here, that would, that would be horrific. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to introduce to you your US Olympic women's ice it's pretty exciting. It's kind of cool that they did it in the state of hockey. Woo! Hockey sticks to have signed by the team. Thanks for coming out. Where are you guys from? After much anticipation, the fans finally get up close and personal with their heroes. Dream come true. Who sign autographs and offer encouraging words. Nope. But all is not well in the state of hockey. Dispatch to all officers, head towards the 1 East Rotunda. We have a report of a fight. A fight has broken out and threatens the nearby hockey event. Get out of the you're gonna get sprayed! Coming up, mall security mobilizes to keep Team USA safe. The sighting. Fear and disbelief. The town went crazy. The evidence. Is this animal licking the blood out of the chickens? The stories have been shared across America. The most bizarre creature that I had ever seen. These real first-hand accounts will leave your spine tingling. There was fear in our hearts. And your mind reeling. The truth. It's real and it's out there. Is scarier than fiction. Monsters and Mysteries in America returns with an all-new season. December 15th at 10 on Destination America. Let's do Black Friday. Let's make a game plan. Let's get in this weekend and get what we need. No, what we want. Let's do capacity. Let's do smart. And not settle. This weekend, let's go for the win. It's Black Friday. Let's do this. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Your choice these Whirlpool stainless steel refrigerators. Just $9.98. Doors open at 5 a.m. Suffering from the flu is a really big deal. With aches, fever, and chills, there's no such thing as a little flu. So why treat it like it's a little cold? There's something that works differently than over-the-counter remedies. Prescription Tamiflu attacks the flu virus at its source, so call your doctor right away. Tamiflu treats the flu in people two weeks and older whose flu symptoms started within the last two days. Before taking Tamiflu, tell your doctor if you're pregnant, nursing, have serious health conditions, or take other medicines. If you develop an allergic reaction, a severe rash, or signs of unusual behavior, stop taking Tamiflu and call your doctor immediately. Children and adolescents in particular may be at an increased risk of seizures, confusion, or abnormal behavior. The most common side effects are mild to moderate nausea and vomiting. 
So don't wait. Attack the flu virus at its source. Ask your doctor about Tamiflu, prescription for flu. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. If you are on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24-7 to help you. Call the health hotline right now for details toll-free. Our friendly representatives are standing by now to take your call. We also have other pain-relieving braces available for shoulder, ankle, and your back. You may be eligible to receive these items and more at little or no cost to you as well. Call right now for details toll-free. Operators are standing by. Call 855-682-1281. That's 855-682-1281. Again, 855-682-1281. That's 855-682-1281. Open house has a whole new meaning. It's like we're outside. Is there a wall? Live on the edge. Where's the house? We got to go across the bridge. And buy a home. Oh, honey. Wow. In Paradise. Buy Hawaii all-new series Monday at 10, only on Destination America. A fight threatens the Team USA hockey event in the rotunda. Mall cops act quickly. Hey, 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 hey. The officers subdue two men before they can disrupt the nearby hockey event. They then escort the troublemakers to the penalty box. Officers uh, are trained to deal with fights, and our job is to get there as fast as we can, contain them, control them, and get them on the side. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, do you need an ambulance? The mall cops need to find out why the hockey fans started fighting. What happened out here tonight? This dude was trying to fight me. He was on the other side of the escalator going down. He tried to throw a punch at me. Then I threw a punch back. I'm not just going to do nothing. Spread your feet. Not already. No, as far as you can. Hey, almost. Stop moving. Man, y'all weird ass. Cop. You're under arrest, you understand that? Don't mean you got to fill me up. You're being searched. Yeah. Well, my All right, let's go. These hockey fans are banned from the mall. You're going to be issued a disorderly conduct ticket. You're going to be trespassed from the mall, and you're going to be leaving the mall here tonight. We're there to interact with uh, those who want to do bad things, to make sure that it stops, and move on with the event. That's just some messed up. The only thing this shopper leaves the mall with is a ticket for trespassing. And on behalf of the U.S. Women's Olympic Hockey Team, thank you very much for coming to the Mall of America today. And Team USA Hockey has some kudos of its own for Mall of America's finest. Bye. He's awesome. It's actually a good crowd. Uh, considering some of the other events we have, this crowd was fairly well behaved. How can we be scared with someone like this around? Look at him. What a stud. Stud. Thanks. Thanks for that. There were no attacks on us because the security kept us pretty safe at this mall. There's another one. For Officer Crosby, it's been a memorable brush with Olympic greatness. We're getting escorted by this fine security guard. <laughs> As the day winds down, Officer Adam Kadrowski spots a group of youths who appear to be loitering. Hey, sir. I need you to hang out. I got to make sure you guys are old enough to be in the mall. All right, in order to be in the mall, you got to be 16. I'm 19. Mall of America has a parental escort policy requiring anybody under the age of 16 be escorted by a parent. Hey, all right. High, bro. I'm grown. All right, everybody else, you guys all got IDs to show me you're 16? It's got to be state issued. <laughs> You're 19? All right. If you guys want to stay in the mall, I got to see everybody's IDs. I know that, bro. I saw them loitering in the South Food Court. They appear to be under the age of 21, in which case we pep stop them. Make sure that they're above the age of 16 with IDs or be with parents. Well, your mom's got to be with these guys tonight, All right, well, then I'll go get my mom so we can stay in the mall, then? Sure. Where is she going to meet us? How about down in transit? Metro Transit? Then we might as well leave if we're going to walk to the Metro Transit, then. The youth say they have parents at the mall but soon back down on their claims. <laughs> Officer Kudrowski attempts to eject them from the mall. However, before leaving, the youths try out their own unique form of self-promotion. 
Savage, like, boy, I'm the hottest in the city. I spit that real stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? My album coming soon, you know what I'm saying? They're a little bit disorderly. They gave us verbal resistance the whole way, but. It's gonna be the hottest album in the streets. I even got the police featured on my album. Well, as long as they were leaving, that was fine with us.